Welcome to the Truth Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Today, we're going to talk about Iran. Iran, the Iran nuclear deal, also known as the JCPOA, what is happening in the Middle East that could be leading to war or at least more armed conflict and what we are doing about it here at home in America. Let's start with the news, what's been happening, and then what we might be able to do about it. So obviously, President Trump pulled us out of the JCPOA last year. The JCPOA, the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action that was supposed to rein in the Iranian nuclear program, preventing them from being terrorists, preventing them from developing nuclear weapons for aggressive purposes, uh, has failed miserably. Not only are there numerous proofs of violations of the JCPOA, for those of you that have followed my activities on this story for the last several years, you know since Obama rammed it through, it was done without congressional approval. It was faulted from the very beginning because it never required inspections anytime, anywhere, without notice. Obama had promised all those in his very famous Rose Garden speech announcing the deal, but it never made it into writing. Kerry agreed to something that was appointment only on certain installations, and if you don't give notice, you don't get in. And if you don't have permission, you don't get in. And without an appointment, the gates are locked. And all military sites with nuclear materials and nuclear centrifuges put together there were permanently off the limits. So until recently, we had no proof as to what was going on there. What happened for the proof? Well, quite simply, Israel smuggled out several tons worth of documents from a secret Iranian nuclear warehouse in Tehran that proved that the nuclear program never stopped, that the intention all along was to develop enhanced fissionable materials that could be used for bombs, and the missile program was going full speed ahead. Now, this does not include the other news, which we know all about, which is ever since the JCPOA was signed and intended to create a path for Iran to be a peaceful nation, to be accepted into the nation, uh, the League of Nations around the world as a regular participant. What have they done? The opposite. Exported terror all over the world, exported terrorism, both them personally and through their proxies, and they're spending money to destabilize regimes everywhere. So the JCPOA, massive failure. So what has Trump done in the past year? Well, he's instituted massive economic sanctions, which have put the Iranian economy on the brink of collapse. In early May of this year, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani had said that he is going to give the world until July 7th to relieve the sanctions on the Islamic Republic or face Tehran's reduction of compliance with the nuclear restrictions in the JCPOA. They didn't stop with threats. They carried them out. At least two, possibly three oil tankers were attacked. Uh, there is apparently indisputable evidence uh, in military intelligence that the attacks on the tankers were carried out by Iran, and Washington says they have no doubt about it. In addition, Iran and or its Houthi proxies uh, in Yemen attacked oil facilities in Saudi Arabia and fired missiles at the airport's passenger terminals in Riyadh, literally into the airport. Then an American drone was shot down by Iran who cannot stop bragging about how they defeated the American military. Now, most recently, an Iranian oil tanker has just been seized by British commandos for violating the oil export regulations uh, that were instituted by the EU and the UN. And what did Iran do today? They have announced they are going to take back the tanker by force with their own commandos. Should that happen, you will see a stupendously large um, American intervention. I sincerely doubt that will happen. However, 
Iran is negotiating like crazily with Europe to say they will step up these types of commando attacks if Europe doesn't back down on sanctions enforcement. Here's the big news on top of the tanker seizure. Iran is going to break the uranium stockpile limit set by the JCPOA in the next couple of days. Even after their country announced they were doing it, the IAEA, which is the UN's inspection agency, announced Iran has already breached the deal and crossed the level of limit on enhancement of uranium and stockpiling. So as of right now, the JCPOA restrictions on Iran have been breached. The world has so far done nothing. So now what happens? Well, Donald Trump has threatened even more sanctions. And should Iran move against the United States again, he is threatening catastrophic responses, the likes of which they have never seen. Is it going to happen? Well, who knows? What we do know is American response was set up, was planned, was authorized when the drone was shot down, and Trump apparently called it off at the very last minute. We don't know why. In the last couple of days, several GOP senators have sent a letter to President Trump urging him not to back down, not to give in to the nuclear blackmail of Iran. And the senators released the letter after the IAE confirmed that Iran has violated the JCPOA and they're making nuclear material like crazy. Here's an interesting side development in the presidential campaign. Not one, not a single one of the many what is it, 24 people running for president on the Democrat side has said they will not go back into the deal. In fact, they've said the converse. All have said the JCPOA negotiated by trade, a sort of traitor John Kerry was a great idea and they want to go back into it and if elected president, they will do so. Isn't that amazing? They are saying to the world that what England and Germany did in 1938, which is the appeasement of Hitler, Remember the famous speech, there will be peace in our time when the prime minister of England landed back in London in 1938 after meeting, meeting with Hitler about Hitler seizing the Sudetenland of Czechoslovakia. Within a year, World War II had started. The difference, Hitler never had nuclear weapons and now Iran will. And yet, every Democrat running for president of the United States says they will capitulate to Iran in the hopes that Iran suddenly changes their behavior, stops exporting terror, stops stockpiling uranium, and stops enhancing uranium to a fissionable level so that nuclear bombs can be made. What do I think is going to happen? There will be a war if Iran continues. The president of the United States cannot allow a military attack on the United States in the case of the drone being shot down, cannot allow tankers to be blown up without a retaliation to show he is not a paper tiger. Iran's press every day calls Trump basically crazy, says he will never do anything and that they will continue to ignore him. And they're claiming they have secret weapons that could destroy Israel in 20 minutes and then they will do the same to the United States. I believe that sanctions must be ratcheted up as the, Demo as the Republican, pardon me, senators have advised. And if that happens and Europe goes along, at some point, the Iranian economy will collapse, notwithstanding the fact that the IRGC, the radical element within Iran, is very wealthy. They don't care how many people are starving or without fuel or without crops. However, at some point, they are a small minority, they will lose control and the mullahs will fall. The only one that really matters is the supreme leader in Iran. He is there for life. He is a religious dictator who cannot be replaced unless he steps down or dies. And that being the case, they're going to have to take to the streets to keep the pressure on until at some point the IRGC stops backing him. In the meantime, news will break every day until there is a final confrontation between Iran and the West 
led by the United States Navy. And at that point, there will either be war or Iran will back down. I don't believe Trump will. That's our truth report on an update on Iran. Please stay in touch. Drop me a note if you'd like to at americantruthproject.org. And please go to our website. You can look us up at findberry.com. It'll take you to the website. Sign up for our newsletters and all of our shows. It's always free. We never charge. We're here for you. This has been the Truth Report. And I'm Barry Newsbaum. <laughs>